It's early Saturday morning here at Lavelle Edwards Stadium, and it wasn't nearly as exciting as it was the last time the BYU football team played here, but BYU got the 30-13 win over UConn, got back on the winning track after two straight losses, and big win, even though it did take them a while to get in position to do it. I'm Jared Lloyd, BYU beat writer and sports editor for the Daily Herald. Joining me, BYU football columnist Darnell Dixon. Darnell, what do you take away from this game? Uh, they persevered. You know, BYU was able to move the ball a lot. They were really good defensively. And then, like you said, looked up. It was 10 to 10 in the third quarter. I was frustrated and mad, um, disappointed and angry. I don't know which is worse, mad or angry. But, um, yeah, just because we weren't playing cleanly enough um, in the critical moments to finish off after driving the entire field. And the outcome certainly was favorable, and I'll take that any time. Um, but we can certainly play and need, and will want to play even at a higher level than we did tonight, especially in the critical moments. You know, when it comes down to the, the blue zone. I mean, our stuff works. You know, it's just us. It's our job as players to execute, and I feel like we did a really good job of doing that. Um, you know, we struggled in the beginning, but I feel like we really found our stride throughout the second quarter, and especially in the second half of just dominating. And that's what our offense can do. Um, I thought they were a little impatient on offense with some of the calls and some of the decisions that were made, but they did get the win, and that's what's important to this club moving forward. You know, they did move the ball a lot, and that was the thing is they had three times as many yards as UConn did through three quarters, but all that matters is what you have on the scoreboard. It's all about finishing, and BYU didn't have very many points. Big play by the defense to kind of enable BYU to pull away. I mean, the defense, MVP of the game, they, all, all night they were making plays. All night they were getting stops. Just huge. So to be able to get a turnover that puts us in the red zone is awesome. And uh, and then to come out first play and, and get a touchdown is it's, it's a huge momentum swift uh, swing, a huge uh, momentum builder for us. So it was fun to, to have that happen and again it got the house rocking, got the energy back. And coach made a good call, uh, coming into coverage and I think some guys came off the edge and hit the quarterback and the quarterback just uh, panicked I guess and made a bad read and ended up throwing me the ball. So, I mean, just good to be in that situation, you know, be in that spot. It's a good feeling. Uh, I mean, it's almost just like the gates of heaven are open right there. <laughs> and you're just running as fast as you can to run through there. Uh, but, I mean, the more times you hit the quarterback, the better. You know, you want him to know that you're right there and you're going to be breathing down his neck all game and just have that in the back of his head. So BYU does a good job to get past UConn, but a big game coming up on next week against East Carolina. They're going to have to do a lot better at finishing. I don't think there's any doubt of that. East Carolina's got a pretty good team this year. So we'll see how they do when BYU takes on East Carolina homecoming next Saturday, 5.30 kickoff. We'll be here for that. See how the Cougars do.